James Webb is currently undergoing a cryogenic vacuum test in a very large chamber called Chamber A at NASA Johnson Space Center. And the purpose of this test is to make sure that all the components of the telescope are going to function in the cold vacuum environment of space. I am a coatings engineer and I'm working very closely with the uh, James Webb contamination control team. Before we start the cryogenic test, the contamination control team works to clean the inside of the chamber so that Webb can stay as contamination free as possible. It's not possible for anyone to access the chamber during the test, so uh, we have to do all our contamination mitigation before the test starts. And my job specifically uh, involves the development and testing of a, a new NASA coatings technology that can help um, mitigate molecular contamination concerns. So the plenum is an area at the bottom of Chamber A. It's the space that's directly below where Webb sits, ready for testing. To get to the plenum, we need to carefully walk uh, in the space between the helium shroud, which is surrounding Webb, and the outer wall of Chamber A. There is no light, so we have to wear headlamps. Uh, the plenum is considered a confined space because there's only one way in and only one way out. Uh, we have to wear oxygen sensors to make sure that it's safe to be down there. We have to take a ladder down to the plenum, that's the lowest level at the bottom of the chamber. And the floor, it's actually the curved bottom of chamber A. So there are molecular uh, contaminants that exist in the plenum. For example, you have your hydrocarbons, your silicones, and uh, these are very, sometimes very difficult to remove um, almost completely. Um, and the contamination team, has uh, they've done an amazing job of reducing the existing levels uh, down to a very minimal amount. And it's this residual contaminants that can potentially outgas during vacuum testing, spread throughout the chamber, and perhaps even deposit on a very cold, sensitive surface such as James Webb. So it's very important to tackle the problem at, at the source, and that's why we've placed the max samples in the plenum area. We do a thorough analysis on the types of contaminants that were collected and how much. That data is very useful and it shows that we are protecting James Webb from molecular contamination. I've devoted a lot of my early career developing and testing this coating and I'm really happy to see it being used on a lot of flight projects. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.